Welcome back to Steve's Cannabis Reviews, everybody. I've got a great review for you today. Let's get at it. I've got the coolest thing I've ever seen on the legal market. Check this out. This is very well THC water soluble drops. Okay? Water soluble THC is different than your normal THC. It's not chemically different really. It's still THC. But what they've done is they've broken it down into small molecules to the point where it's able to be absorbed into water. Now normally THC doesn't infuse into water. You have to infuse it into a lipid or an alcohol or something like that to actually break it down and infuse it. That's the way old school edibles were. Edibles these days on the legal market are going to change drastically the way we think about edibles. Water soluble THC is broken down uh, through a couple different ways, but the main one is what they do is they either add a sugar molecule to it and that makes it absorption, which is naturally what happens to organisms in, in nature. Or what they do is they break it down as these small little individual bubbles and then they break that down as a THC like molecule virtually. So what it, what it is is it, it, it's small enough that they've been able to infuse it into something other than a lipid or an alcohol. So because of that, the absorption rate is how it gets into your body is insane. So if, for the factor of 10, if you're used to 100 milligram, a big heavy dose, of an edible per, per serving or something like that, you only need 10 milligrams of this stuff. Remember with edibles, you used to have the problem of, well, not that I even remember. With edibles, you still have the problem of the, the time factor and the concern. Some people, it hits you in a half hour. Some people, it takes three hours before you get an edible. Sometimes you get that corner of the brownie that's way stronger than the middle part. You don't get that with this. On an empty stomach, this, when you consume it will be absorbed fully within 15 minutes 15 minutes so basically what i'm saying is i go like this this by the way this dropper itself was 60 dollars. it comes with the equivalent of 400 milligrams okay 400 milligrams you see look at that see so every drop every two drops equals one milligram so i'm up to like 10 milligrams already okay so what happens here is now that this is infused, it's just like that. I just drink it. This is iced tea, by the way. You can do it to any beverage. Mm. Now, what that does is it allows for a quick absorption. It allows for someone like a medical patient who wants relief from a THC joint or, you know, a bone rip or something like that. They, they may want it a lot quicker than an edible, say, if they don't want to smoke. Right? Edibles take a couple hours to kick in for some people. As a medical patient, that's a long time to get your relief. Think of this as like fast dissolving Tylenol. You've seen those commercials where it's like, within 15 minutes, it gives you relief. Think of THC, water soluble THC specifically, just like that. And let's think of the, I hate to say this, but edibles as we know it on the black market are like bread. And this water soluble THC along with all the other beverages and edible products that are using this technology are like sliced bread, okay? We are at that precipice of technology advancement where the illegal industry will not be able to compete with the legal industry with the way science is going forward and the ab ability to mass produce and quality of, of scale and things like that will just dominate the black market uh, and force people to, to have to go to the legal market. So unfortunately, that's where things are going, people, because when you have this kind of stuff, think about the ability for it to be consumed in places like restaurants or bars. Think about all those people who don't want to have a, a beverage full of alcohol at a bar, but want to go out and have cannabis beverage. Because it absorbs so quickly, it's out of your system quicker. Huh? That eliminates that whole problem of consumption sites where you're like, oh, well, we can't have people leave here. They might be really fucked up still, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. 
if you if you could serve alcohol and, and tell people make sure you don't drive, you could do that with this stuff because this stuff A is better for you and B absorbs way quicker. Oh, it is intense. It is just so intense. I'm just going to chug this drink so I can get it done. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, you can really taste the THC. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there is one more uh, step up advance from this. Okay. There is uh, dried THC powder, which is literally just THC molecules broken down into these little tiny bubbles that are absorb absorbable into water, or dilutable, I guess, would be a great way to phrase it. But the science behind it is just incredible. Definitely Google it and, and check it out for yourself, because I'm not a scientist, I'm just a pothead. <laughs> uh, but there is dried infused, or, or, or dried THC powder. Uh, again, it's, it's dosing, it's consistency, it's quality. These are all the things that the legal market is just kicking ass on. And science and research is going to produce more shit like this to advance the furthering of our cannabis movement as a whole. So, if you think the legal market is just full of shit, well, you're full of shit. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta be real sometimes. Anyway, I know I said that I was going to do a Baker Street and Ginger from Tweed Beverage. Sorry, I had to do this. This is much more important for me to get out there. Patience. Awesome. Recreational. Awesome. This stuff is so good. As a recreational person, you can get high at like 2 in the afternoon and go to work at 4 in the afternoon because you won't be all fucked up still. Because you're not waiting 3 hours for this edible to kick in. You know what I'm saying? It's like smoking a joint and then calming down. It is insane, but you don't have to smoke. Just the furthering of this is, is really a testament to the amount of people who are, you know, diverting from regular cannabis smoking to the infused and, and you know, um, uh, different type of, of topical markets and things like that. Really getting away from the old carcinogenic smoking. Don't get me wrong, I love my bong still, but this stuff is really making me rethink it. Also, just a side note, these beverages are a great supplement and replacement for people who might have alcoholism or an addiction to alcohol. These drinks mess you up a little bit if you're looking for that high. They are way better for you they're not addicting and the social responsibility factor compared to alcohol is through the roof. So please, if you're listening to this and you're a legislator or you know somebody, further the point that these beverages are good for society, not bad. Okay. Thanks everybody for listening. I really appreciate you guys following, liking, subscribing, commenting. Always a good time. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next video. <laughs> Take care everybody. Peace.